welcome to my YouTube channel. You're watching The Shabna Show. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. We weren't able to bring you any video for the past two weeks, but this one is based on the Guyanese in Queens. The Guyanese community in Queens is actually the second largest foreign-born population here. Um, many Guyanese have come here and are very successful. They have done really well and have contributed a lot to the community that they even had the Liberty Avenue Street co-named Little Guyana Avenue. So while many are doing well, some are still struggling. And there are charities and organizations that help them, like the Richmond Hill South Ozone Park Lions Club. And we spoke to the immediate past president, Mr. Romeo Hitlal, and he, he, he will tell us what they have been doing to help the Guyanese. Also, we spoke, we went to Liberty Avenue. As I said, there are many businesses, local businesses and many Guyanese. Uh, you will find shopping there because they can find all the local products that they're accustomed to back home. So we spoke to three of them who are willing to share their experiences since they move here and how they, they have been doing so far. Do enjoy the video. So Mr. Hitlal, I know many Guyanese were affected by the pandemic. And uh, not only Guyanese you would help, but um, other members of this community. Can you say what exactly you've done for them? I'm um, sure. Um, thanks for having me, of course. Uh, well, um, just recently we did a Thanksgiving uh, giveaway where we give away over 300 turkeys and fixings and groceries and everything for the community. Not only Guyanese, everybody that's in the community benefited from that. Um, it's something that we're doing annually. It's our third annual Thanksgiving dinner giveaway uh it's it, it's it's you know it's a lot of work it's a lot of work uh with the lions club all the members who came out and helped and the community also who supported it uh businesses who supported it so that's just one other thing that we did um i can even go on and tell you we did uh something for everybody for the entire richmond hill and, and beyond we did a christmas tree lighting which is our third annual christmas tree lighting and it's at the, the corner of um, 133rd Street and Liberty Avenue, which is, it's, it's actually the Romeo Hitler Triangle. So, but that's where it's at, it's a 25 foot tree. Um, we give out a lot of toys to kids again, and we had entertainment, we had like, you know, hot chocolate for the kids and the adults, a coffee and things like that. But again, that's another team effort from the Richmond Hill South Ozone Park Lions Club, all the members. And also community members, community businesses who support us to make this tree possible. Can you tell me what are some of the conditions that Guyanese live in, in in this part of New York, in Queens? Because I know many of them have probably lost their jobs through the pandemic. Well, you know, the things that we give out, we see, we meet a lot of people. We meet hundreds of people, hundreds of family members. And I can tell you, you know, a lot of people are not, uh, their status is not right in this country, so they don't get any benefit. And because they're not getting any benefits, you know, it makes it really hard because they, number one, they're not working, they're not getting any benefit from the government. So it's it's a very tough situation. And then we're, you know, as a Lions Club, we're glad that we can help a little, whatever we can, we try to help. But, uh, you know, talking about um, their living conditions, you know, we try not to get personal with them, but we, whatever we can do, we can tell that people are suffering. We definitely, you know, it's we have 75 members in the club, and most of the time we have 25, 30 members coming out, different age group, and, and you know, and they can tell when somebody is suffering, and we will try to help to not just, you know, limit them to one piece of item. We try to give them some extra stuff, because you, you know, you know. And then, and you know, sometimes as Guyanese, we all know we don't like to talk, so. Uh, so that's why we try to help. But it's it's not a good situation. I know a lot of people are suffering. And that is the reason why, as a club, together, we're doing these things. I'm here on Liberty Avenue, where the Guyanese is the second largest foreign-born population in Richmond Hill, Queens area. And Liberty Avenue is known for having many Guyanese businesses as well. And also, a lot of um, Guyanese come here to shop from all over the all over the U.S. Other parts of the um, U.S. when they visit. How oh, long you came here? So you at the beginning? Well, you find it hard? Yeah, in the beginning it was hard for me. 
I wanted to go back home, but then eventually, you know, I become more comfortable. I kind of like it. Yeah. And now it's, you know, I just, I love it here. Yeah. Well, what was the part? Was it difficult for you to get a job in the beginning? Yeah, it was a big transition for me because, you know, back in Guyana, you know, we are accustomed to doing different things. The food was a little different. And now, you know, you get adopted to it, you get, you, I guess it, you get accustomed to the, the stuff over here. Yeah. What did you do back home in Guyana? Well, uh, when I finished, when I graduated from high school, then I went to the New Amsterdam Technical Institute, and then I started my own business. I was selling in the market. So then I migrated to the United States and you know it was a big transition for me because i never worked for anyone yeah. and then i come here and you got to start all over again yeah. so that's what it was like one the hard thing for me yeah so i guess it's like that for all guys when they come at first and then when you start working then yeah you well, for the most part you know everybody that come here they struggle you know and then they work their way up and yeah. now they're much better in a better position my name is vicky Okay, and you established the real? The real guy, and now we're in your market. Okay, how long you came to New York? I come in 2010. Yeah, yeah and when you established the business? Uh, about four months now. Okay, what did you do in the beginning? How did you find it at first when you moved to New York? It was real tough. Mm -hmm. We got work away. Yeah. yeah. So you worked really hard and you were able mm -hmm. to establish your business. Very good. Nice. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So can you show me a little bit what you have in here? Yes. I have most. I have Trinidad stuff. Uh huh. From Trinidad, the bandana, the dashing bush, the pimento pepper. Uh huh. I got the Guyana stuff. I got the Guyana cherry pepper. Yeah. The same. The Guyana pumpkin, the Guyana celery. Okay. The Guyana fish. Yep. Where is the fish? Let's see. The fish is right here. Okay. Fresh stuff, we got a guy in a five finger. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Bring it every week from Guyana. Fresh stuff. We got a guy in a bread food. Okay, good. From Guyana? Uh huh. What else you have? I got a Guyana fruit. I got a Guyana fish here, the Bangla Wow. I have Okay. From Guyana. Get this. This is a delicacy in Barbie. Yeah. How much did Barbie do? I have the Guyana mullet. Wow. Fresh for fish. Uh huh. Yeah, so I'm going to show you the shrimp This is the filet tilapia. Okay. I have the white belly shrimps. Oh, okay. $6.99 a pound. Okay. I have the snapper eggs. Okay. No? Yeah. yeah. Very nice. So, can you feel right at home when you come to shop? Yeah. Everybody here in the club and feel like they're in home. Okay. Have the Diana stuff, the Sarnam stuff, uh, everything was Sarnam here. Okay. Sarnam so is right here. Okay. Okay. This is a chip cutter. Okay. $12 for one. Okay. Very cheap. Uh-huh. Get How a guy in a snapper here. Okay. See it? Okay. Uh -huh. $5.99 a pound. You get a baby goat, the baby lamb. Uh-huh. You get a guy in a buck crab. Okay, wow. And all these are... Yes, all these are Guyana. The Guyana sugar. 
ya. Yeah, Belna Chowki. Yeah, Belna Chowki, the Kahari. From Guyana. Yeah, Marga, everything. Yeah, everything here, too. See, and price is right. Very cheap. Yeah. From a real Guyana Western market and get your stuff. Okay, Every Friday, sure. fresh stuff. Yeah, hope they look out for you. Yeah. See it fresh stuff. We got a golden apple, we got a gooseberry, the split mangoes. Okay. See it? You got a lot of coconut and so. Look, no good price. How long have you been in here? Since 1982. 1982? Yes. How was it like since you came here in the beginning? Uh, in the beginning, it was difficult. The transition from one country to another is always hard because yes. you have to learn it. It's literally a new language. Yes, of course. A new custom. Yes. The different uh, seasons. Not a new language, but I mean... It's, believe me, it's a new language. <laughs> okay. I was a teacher, so it's a new language. All right, okay. It's like, what did they just say? <laughs> right. And then, um, you know, you got to have clothes for four seasons. You didn't know that back home. Right, uh-huh. You know, so... It, it takes you, I would say, literally about five, ten years to adjust. Wow. Because, you know, every time you leave back, the season changes, you need yeah. a new coat, you need yeah. this, you need that. Of course. Like, we are laid back over there, you got to yeah. run for the train, yeah. come home late. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, how do you find the, the food that is diverse? Area is known as Little Guyana, right? Yep. And the nice thing about living here is you can eat just the same as if you were in Guyana. Definitely, There's definitely. No, you don't have to, to change your eating habits. Right. Here you'll find literally everything that you can find at home. Right. And if you go further up, you know, like every product on the shelves. What you learn is is that a lot of the places that the British colonize, uh -huh. we all eat the same food. Right. You might see something different. Uh -huh. Like let's say you went to the Indian stores. Mm -hmm. They have products that are more Indian centric, but it's the same thing that we know. Okay. Like I didn't know that there was more what more than one kind of doll. We didn't know that until we came here. <laughs> okay, right. So you learn things, but it's eating wise is the same. Okay. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe so you'll be notified when we post another video. We'll have more videos coming out of New York so keep watching.